Hi everyone, lovely to see you again this morning. Welcome to your maths lesson. Um, today we are learning to count to 50 by making tens. And our success criteria is that we need to count in tens. We need to count on in ones from a given number. And we need to be able to represent a number in tens and ones. So let's start with our um, starter. Remember to pause between the questions if you need to. Number one, what comes next? Look at the sequence, what number comes next? Number two, how do you spell this number? Number three, how many counters in these two 10 frames? And number four, two tens is equal to what? All right, let's go through our answers. So what comes next? Eight, nine, 10. Well, I can tell my number, the numbers are getting bigger as we move along. So the next number must be 11 because we're counting in ones and we're counting forwards in ones. Number two, how do you spell this number? Did you work out what this number is? Hopefully you said 19. Let's check our spelling. N-I-N-E, that's the nine part of 19. And then T-E-E-N, 19. Did you get that one right? Excellent, good try. Um, number three, how many counters? So we have one full 10 frame and seven more. So one 10 and seven ones, 17. And you might have worked that one out by counting on. That's perfect as well. So you might have counted 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So whichever way you did it, that's great. And number four, two tens is equal to 20. That's equal to 20. So Sue's big question today, it's not a true or false one. She is asking, can you find these numbers? So we've got some number words here and we've got our section of 100 square um, going up to 50. Can we find these numbers? So let's start by with this word. Can you have a go at reading it? That's right, 10. Now, can you find the number 10 on the section of the 100 square? See if you got it. Here it is. Did you find that? Amazing. Right, let's look at the next word. What does this word say? Have a go at using your sounds if you need to. Because this is one of the number words that we can sound out. Twenty. So remember, if there's a Y at the end of the word, it often makes the E sound. 20. Can you find the number 20? See how quickly you can find it. Did you find it? Here it is, 20. Okay, what about this next number word? Again, if you're not sure, use your sounds. Okay, let's sound it out together. Uh, t e. 30, can you find 30? Quick as you can. Have you found it yet? That's right, it's here. And what about this word? Four e 40, can you find 40? Is it getting easier to find the numbers now? Have you noticed a pattern? I thought you might have. Here it is, 40. Hmm. 
and my wonder if you can work out what the last one will be. Let's read it just to check. Fifty. Fifty. Can you spot it? Okay, and here it is. So, what is Stevie counting in? Can you work it out? Remember what we talked about last lesson? The end of each row. We're counting in tens. Stevie's counted in tens, hasn't she? Let's uh, count with her. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So she's added 10 each time. Go counting, Stevie. She's such a clever dog. Okay, and we've got the same vocabulary as yesterday. So we've got counting on. Counting on means starting from a number and counting up from there, like Starting from 10 and counting on from 10 would be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then represent, remember it's just a big fancy word for show. To represent something means to show something. So here are lots of different ways that we might represent um, numbers and represent um, how we add on the number line there as well. Okay, so let's have a go at practicing our counting in tens and then counting on in ones. So I'll go first. We've got some counters here in 10 frames. Now I know that if the 10 frame is full like it is here, this represents 10. So I'm going to write 10 underneath just to remind myself. And here I have another full 10 frame. So 10 and 10 more is 20. We're counting in tens, we're adding 10 each time. Now I don't have another 10, I've got two. So I'm going to work out my total number of counters by counting on from 20. 21, 22. I'm going to write that down here as well. 21, 22. So there are 22 counters. Let's have a go at another one. So remember, if you're not sure, here's our part of the 100 square going up to 50 to help you counting in tens. So this time we have some bunches of grapes. Now, can you see how many grapes are in each bunch? That's right, most of the bunches have 10 grapes. So how can we count them then? Hopefully you said we can count them in tens again. So this bunch of grapes is 10. Then 10 more is 20. 10 more is 30. But then here, I don't have 10. How many grapes are in this bunch? That's right, there's five. So. Can I count on from 30 to find how many there are? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. There are 35 grapes. And now it's your turn. So I'd like you to pause the screen here to see if you can work out how to count these eggs. Can you notice anything that will help you? So pause now to have a go at counting. Okay, did you notice that each of the blue boxes of eggs have 10 eggs in them? Amazing, so we can count in tens, exactly. Have you already counted in tens to work out how many? Well done if you have, if not, don't worry, we will have a go at doing it now. So we know that there are 10 in here, 20, 30, 40. Now there are not 10 in this box, are there? So we've got 40 in the blue boxes. I'm going to write that down to remind myself. And then we need to count on. Did you count on to work it out? Amazing. So counting on from 40. Here is 40. Counting on in ones. 41, 42, 43, 44. 45, 
46. Did you get 46 too? Amazing. I thought you would. Such super counters. Oops, gone too far. Right. Oh no, look at all these sweets. Stevie said, <laughs> saying quite rightly, I need to organize these. And I know what you mean, Stevie. I'm not sure I'd be able to count all of these sweets without accidentally counting the same ones twice or missing out some because there's so many in this group. So let's help Stevie organize them, shall we? She's got some 10 frames ready for us. Thanks, Stevie. That's a really good way to organize big amounts or large um, numbers of objects. So shall we start moving them then? Okay. Now we could count them as we move them, but do we need to count them? Hmm. Have a think. If you said, yes, we do need to count them as we move them, then why do you think that? And the same if you said, no, why do you think, no, we don't need to count them? Hmm. Remember in maths, reasoning is really, really important. Just as important, or maybe even more important than being able to give the right answer or give an answer in numbers. We must be able to explain ourselves. Just let you have a bit more thinking time while I move them. Okay, so the answer is that it might be helpful to count them as we move them, but we do not need to if we're organizing them into 10 frames. Because what do we know about 10 frames? If there's a full 10 frame, then how many sweets must be in there? Or how many counters or whatever we're putting in there? That's right, 10. So I will be able to see really clearly once I've organized these sweets into 10 frames, how many 10s there are and how many ones there are. Oh, I accidentally moved one across then. Okay, so we're almost, oh, <laughs> almost done organizing. Oh no. <laughs> Bear with me a moment, guys. Almost done. While I'm doing these last few, can you already work out how many tens there are and what that would be? Well done if you've done that. Okay, so how many full 10 frames do we have then? We've got one here, haven't we? So that's 10. And then we have another full 10 frame here. So 10 more than 10. Oh, not 29. <laughs> 20. And then for these last few sweets, we can count on from 20. So count on with me. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we know there are 26 sweets. Do you think that's much easier now that we can see them like this, nice and organized, than it was before when they were in a big bundle of sweets? I think so. All right. Now I'd like you to pause the screen in just a minute to see if you can find these numbers. So um, they're not, last time we were looking for the tens, or counting in tens down here, this time, we're not. So can you pause the screen here and see if you can read those number words and find those numbers? Okay, hopefully you've paused the screen, you found all those numbers and now it's just going to be checking to see if you were right. So let me get my pen ready. What does this number word say? Hopefully you've already worked it out. 33. And 33, I look for the um, row that has all of the 30s on. 31, 32, 33, there it is. Remember, we talked about the patterns in rows and columns. So when we look in rows, all of the numbers across a row have the same amount of tens apart from the last number. And when we look at the columns, when we look down each column, all of the numbers have the same amount of ones, but the tens change. Okay, so we found 33. 
And then this number, what was this one? 28. So I need to look for the row that has the 20s on, the row that has two tens, because we know that two tens is 20. Here it is, 21, 22, 23. I know that 28 is going to come further along. Here it is. Did you find it too? Excellent. And then what was this number? Did you say 46? Superstar. So we need to look for the row that has the 40s or the four tens. You know that there are four tens in 40. So here it is, the final row in our little section of the 100 square. So we've got 41, 42, 43. Here's 46. Did you find 46? Amazing. And then we've got our last number. What does this number word say? 15, exactly. Now 15, I need to remember that teen numbers are the numbers that have 110. So where is that row with 110 or not this row? Here it is, okay. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That was a bit of a trickier one, wasn't it? Some of you might have accidentally found 50 first. But remember those teen numbers are the numbers that have 110 and that's what the teen part represents. Okay, great work. Right, I think this is our last activity before we move over to teens then for our quiz. So Stevie is saying, I can count from 37 to 49. Which of these numbers will Stevie say? Which of these numbers will Stevie say if she's counting from 37 to 49? Remember to use your section of the 100 square here, or your 50 rectangle, I suppose if you call it, to help you if you're not sure. So pause the screen and see if you can work this one out. Okay, so I wonder how you worked this one out. Now, what I would do and what is probably the quickest way, instead of just looking um, for every number individually, is to first find 37 and find 49, because all the numbers in between those two numbers are the ones that she will say. So where is number 37? I'm going to look down to find the row that has the 30s on. 30s, hmm, three tens. So I'm looking for the numbers that have three as the first digit. Here we go. Here are 30s, counting, moving forward on the number track. And here is 37. So that's the first number that Steve is going to say. She's counting from 37 to 49. So now I need to find 49. So I'm looking for the row that has the 40s on, or four tens. Where is it? Here it is, the final row. 41, 42. Oh, I know that 49 is going to be all the way at the end. Here it is. Okay. So I've identified the first number that she's going to say and the last number that she's going to say. So all these numbers in between are the numbers that she will say. Let's, say, let's count them with her. So we've got 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Okay, so let's look at the numbers that Stevie might say. Hmm, 18. Did, she, did you think she would say 18? No, oh, she's not going to say 18, is she? For the big cross through 18, because look, 18 is all the way up here. Comes before 37. What about the number 38? Is she going, did she say 38 or is she going to say 38? Yes, she is, because 38 comes after 37, but before 49. So she will say 38. Whoops. <laughs> Let's undo that. Very tricky to try and use the pen on a laptop. <laughs> okay, next, 29. Is she going to say 29? No, she's not, because look, all the numbers, all the 20s come before 37. So she's not going to say 29. 
What about this number here? What number is that? 40. Is she going to say 40? Yes, she is, because 40 comes after 37, but before 49. And what about this number? What's this number? 50. Is she going to say 50? No, she's not, because 50 comes after 49, and she's only counting up to 49. So she's not going to say 50. And the last number, what does this number say? Four tens and six ones. 46. Is she going to say 46? Does it come between 37 and 49? Yes, it does. Here it is. After 37, but before 49. So she will say 46. Okay. So Stevie, you will say 40, 38 and 46. Okay. Excellent. Great lesson, guys. Time for you to head over onto Teams now to complete your assignment. Okay. Enjoy. See you later.